After 50 years of acting in movies, <laughs> but none of them made it to Cannes. And you're finally here. Finally, I'm here. The very fact that it's 5,000 farmers who produced this film. 500,000. 500,000 farmers. And gave rupees two to make this film. Sham said, don't be mad. But I said, no, 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 I've got to do this. I've got I'm to committed. Have... Spread out my bedding and I spotted this beautiful black scorpion. The hell with method acting, I'm going back to where the, where the rest of the cast is staying. Sir, Shivi, such a pleasure to see you here in Cannes. Uh, you know, first of all, to have Manthan here in Cannes Classics is so amazing. When I saw the film again, I was just struck by how powerful it is, how relevant it is, how beautifully it's dated. It's, it's not, you know, it's, it's dated in the best way possible because it still speaks to today. Yeah. Uh, and to see you both on that red carpet, and especially <laughs> you, sir, for the first time. First time in my life, yeah. <laughs> After 50 years of acting in movies. <laughs> Good movies, I hoped. <laughs> but none of them made it to Cannes. <laughs> and you're finally here. Finally, I'm here. So, so what is the most sort of enduring memory of the premiere? What, what really stayed with you? The fact that among the audience, the percentage of Indians was very small. They were mostly French people. And um, a lot of them, I mean, we got a, a, a wonderful uh, reaction from them. There was a, an ovation which lasted a while. And um, I was, I have to admit, I was in tears while watching the movie because there's so many memories associated with it. So watching this film, I would say was, I mean, I, I preferred it to the, to the red carpet and to all the, the thing. And, and the, I'm amazed at the passion for movies that, that, that exists over here. Yeah. It's not the Siti Maro kind of passion, but it's the curiosity about all kinds of films and there are all kinds of films here. Yeah. So for me, the, the, seeing the film was, was the most enduring moment and to see it after a pretty long time, and to think that uh, it's being celebrated in the land of Georges Millet and, you know, Abel Gans <laughs> and uh, Jacques Tati and geniuses like Jean-Paul, uh, Jean-Luc Godard and so on. It's, it's quite incredible. I, uh, I never, I don't think any of us ever thought that this film would, perhaps Sham believed in it. I, thought it, uh, it did quite well at the box office, surprisingly for everyone. So I was particularly thrilled about that at the moment because it got me more employment. But I didn't expect it would stand the test of time like this, like the way it has. And Shivi, for you? Oh, You're very, a veteran now, yeah. third year this is for the uh, Film Heritage Foundation. Yeah, I think, I think that's a big moment for us yeah. because uh, to be in Khan's three times in a row itself is an achievement and it's, uh, it speaks a lot about the kind of work we are doing, the kind of appreciation we are getting and uh, uh, Gerald told me how beautiful the restoration was and the kind of response we got yesterday. And he's the head of Cannes Classics. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and the kind of response we got, uh, people said the colours look so beautiful, it's almost pristine. And, yeah, but poetic. The best, yeah, absolutely. And the best compliment was uh, when I uh, showed the restoration to Sham Babu, uh, Mr. Sham Beringal, and he looked at it and he's been so thrilled since then. He says, this is how I imagined the film to be, uh, which I could never get it because uh, it was printed in Orvo in a lesser stock. Yeah. And uh, today the colours are back uh, the way it should be. And what I think, it should have been. Yeah, it's, it's a tremendous story, I know it's really part of our childhood. And the very fact that it's 5,000 farmers who produced this film. 500,000. 500,000 farmers, sorry. And gave rupees two yeah. to make this film. So that, that opening credit made my hair stand. Yeah. Yes. Chana? Yeah. It says 500,000 farmers, farmers of, of Gujarat, Gujarat present. present. <laughs> oh my God. I just, it, I, like you instantly tear up. But, so this film was crowdsourced before any of us knew what crowdsourced means. Yes. I want to ask you, sir, what so, Sham sir comes and says, we're crowdsourcing a film or, we're, or people are giving two rupees each. What was this conversation? Did you think it was all nuts? Well, there was no conversation really. I was 
hungry for work because my first film Nishant <laughs> also with him also with Sham yeah. uh, had worked pretty well at the box office and every actor in it Shabana was already a star Smita became a star Girish started playing leading roles Amrish Puri started playing villainous roles Mohan Agashe Savita Bajaj Kulbushan Karbanda everybody yeah. got work the only guy who didn't get any work was me <laughs> I got a handful of good reviews right. that's about all and I was uh, twiddling my thumbs and wondering what I did wrong you know but but I I felt that I I'm very proud of my performance in Nishant as well and uh, when Sham told me I want you to act in my next film I said yes <laughs> no questions <laughs> asked you didn't say 2 rupees kahan se aaye na kuch nahi 2 rupees diya kisne diya I don't care I'm not I'm getting a penny for this film it doesn't matter I am doing this and when I read the script I was thrilled because I felt that the, the the kind of impact that my role in Nishant lacked because he was such a namby pamby character I thought this would compensate for that and and sure enough it did It did it yeah. did yeah. you know what what struck me also was how unflinching the story is in terms of how it talks about caste and power structures ah, exactly. and patriarchy and you know um, the smita patel character my god how stunning is amazing. she amazing and and but she's so strong but at the end she has to do what her husband tells her to do uh, what was it like to actually make it what were the conversations on that in that village well i i I'm, i don't think that the even the village knew uh, what kind of an impact this film would have how I long were you there we were there about uh, a little over a month and uh, we all lived there in the village uh, some of the cast lived in rajkot and the the central actors lived in the village and i was very much into this method acting thing and so on i want to become so i want to become so the village good. yeah I, i thought i'd i'd live in the hut which <laughs> which which which, the, which was occupied by my character so i took my bedding and stuff i just shams said don't be mad but i said no 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 i've got to do this i've got i'm to, committed i got i'm, I'm going to become this character <laughs> spread out my bedding and i spotted this beautiful black scorpion <laughs> and I, i immediately wrapped up my bedding and i said the hell with method acting i'm going back to where the, where the rest of the cast is staying <laughs> but to come back to to the film heritage foundation and the fantastic work they're doing for which shivi deserves all congratulations i hope it spawns a generation of people who who will care to preserve these films i mean it's a, it's a downright tragic that we don't have a copy of the first film ever made in india we don't have a copy of the first talkie ever made in india we we have you know wonderful movies which were made in technicolor in in the 50s which are now in black and white because they are pirated copies so i think you know, what shivendra is doing is going to be a boon for the next generation as well absolutely and uh, and hopefully when the public in india sees manthan again this time on the big screen not on their computers or on their tvs i think the it will have an impact on them absolutely because it's looking absolutely beautiful the restoration job has been par excellence yeah but let's shivi let's talk about yeah. that because i read that there was green mold yeah, yeah. so on, on the so, negative so i have to tell you this uh, story it was uh, we just set up the foundation it was 2014 and uh, i've always said there is no more no one more wonderful than sham benegal he's such a lovely human being you know and he played such a important role he he was the one who interviewed me in FTI so i have managed to get into FTI because of him mm-hmm. uh so he was the very first person to donate all his material photographs lobby cards scripts everything to the foundation and in the end he had this 35 mm print in 2014 and he gave it to me and he said this is manthan uh he said this is one of my favorite films I really love this film and I hope one day we we can restore it because the color is a bit faded and I was wondering at that time there are 500,000 farmers how am I going to even get permission and at that time I don't even know the source of funding who's going to fund this restoration I was just beginning and I think it's been a year and a half when we started looking at the negative and what we realized was the negative was deeply damaged there were green molds there was no sound negative sound didn't exist it was existing in dg betas and and uh, 35 mm prints but the original cam sound negative had gone 
and there was flicker problems, color fading, the film was not complete. And uh, it was a huge challenge to work very closely with both Govindji and uh, Sham Babu. Uh, that was really, I think, that journey of one and a half years is almost like making a new film. And you know, Anu, Absolutely. that's that's what I've really enjoyed. The the rest, I, I could never make these films. I went through as a child watching these great films. And here I am back uh, working almost as if people have given you that film and said, bring it back onto Save life. Save it. Save yeah. it. Yeah. And, and bringing back to life, you're almost taking all the decisions with them. But whether it's grading, whether it's removing the flicker, whether you're seeing every minute action, which I would have never seen in my life. I, it, it was just the images which have remained. Now I'm seeing frame by frame. And, and I think that joy as a filmmaker and the joy as an archivist has been tremendous. But yeah, it, it, it's been a really tough restoration. And when uh, Sham Babu said it looks better than what he uh, imagined. That, or, you couldn't have a bigger compliment than that. Yeah, he said that on How video. Lovely. Uh, How lovely. And yesterday, the response what we got. Yeah, yeah. I think that's... No, uh, but you're right. We're all, all of us film lovers are indebted to you, No, Shari. thank Absolutely. you. Thank you. Absolutely. It's not... It's something which we believe is so, so important. Yeah. Uh, you know, it took me to leave a career where I was in the top of my life in, in advertising. I was very prolific and uh, I didn't realize I'm going to jump into this uh, and uh, there's been no looking back. It's just the fact that I'm the only one or, or the foundation is the only non-profit body doing that work. So what was what was the turning point, if I may put in of a course. question, yeah. what was the turning point, what was the, the day you made this decision so, uh, to do this work? When Martin Scorsese wanted to restore Kalpana ah. and he was looking for the material and uh, I said, what's the problem? Because, you know, you're so busy as all filmmakers, they're so busy making their own films, they never look back at what, you know, they never look back at history. They just think that everything is surviving. And mm -hmm. I went to Pune and meeting Nair Saab, who had retired and who was staying out of the NFAI. And uh, he was that time very deeply disturbed about what was happening at NFAI. He was not even allowed at that time. And that conversations, I had a lot of friends in NDTV. Mm. All NDTV in those days was all Doon School and St. Stephen's. <laughs> right. I qualified for both, you know. So I thought I will shoot a bit of it and, and somehow give it to the news channels and they can hope to put it out and there'll be a little. And at that point, the idea of preservation never came to me. The journey of making Celluloid Man was the turning point when I started making the film, when I interviewed you two on the film. Right when I traveled all over India, that had a huge impact on me. That when I saw that we've lost so much of our heritage, yeah. so much of our films and, and audiovisual heritage, I think I thought that something needs to be done. And I just, I think went into it and uh, never looked back after that. Right. You deserve a round of applause, really. Indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Indeed. You. So I have to ask you, you know, in this film, early on, there's a character who says, is desh ko adarshwadiyon ki badi zarurat. And of course, he's being sarcastic, right? Because he clearly doesn't want any adarshwadis around him. But it struck me that when you made this film, there was a sense of idealism, right? There was a collective sense of, we're going to change the world. This was yeah. 70s. Yeah. Uh, and I know eventually you became disillusioned with the whole sort of that specific art house movement. But what do you think the legacy is of the work you created? I wish there was more. I wish more of that work had survived. Um, but and the legacy is definitely for the next generation. Sham's uh, the fact that Sham persevered for so long without ever compromising yeah. is, is something that would shake any young filmmaker and would inspire him. The uh, what what Sham has done is to uh, to introduce, I would say, two generations of filmmakers to make the kind of films they believe in, the kind of films that they believe should be made, rather than conforming, and uh, because conforming to the formula is something that Sham never did. I had no idea, as I said before, that the film would last this long. I I didn't while doing it realize the importance of this film. Yeah. I, was, I was just thrilled because I had a fantastic part. I, I could indulge in a lot of, you know, 
showing off all my wares as an actor <laughs> without realizing that an actor's job is to communicate the content rather than to display his wares uh, and so I, I, I uh, just went into it lock, stock and barrel, I, you know, the kitchen sink and everything I threw into it because as I said, I was hungry for employment and I hoped that this film would change my fortunes, which it did. It never, uh, frankly, never occurred to me that, that it would stand the test of time so beautifully. Um, I didn't, it didn't occur to me that this is such an important film because it has sparked off a nationwide movement among the milk farmers in India, where India was supposed to be, you know, uh, importing milk from, and now we are one of the largest producers of milk and Dr. Kurian's idea of making a film about, well, not about his life, but certainly inspired by his adventures. All these things didn't occur to me then. I was just too young and immature. But I'm very gratified yeah. that, that what has happened has, is happening. You know, a yeah. tremendous role of uh, uh, Vijay Tendulkar, I mean, his writing. Absolutely, yes. the writing. I mean, yeah. it's a that, who's That's who. what you're talking about. Yeah. That entire thing. Yeah. Yeah. You're talking about you idealism. Know? I think that, it, that essence comes from Tendulkar's yeah. writing. He contributed so extensively on the writing of that time. And not just to this film. Not, not to this right. film. That's what I meant. Yeah. Right. That to many films sir, during that yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was, uh, I think the whole Vanraj Bhatia's music, Piti Sagar's song. Voice. Yeah. The boys. I mean, look at the look at the actors from Anand Nag to, to <laughs> the smallest roles. Absolutely. And Shama Zaidi. She was an art director, but she also wrote dialogues in the film. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Govind Alani, I mean, one of the great. Uh, and just about everybody makers. in the unit appears in the film. The makeup man appears in one shot as a policeman. The assistants, the spot boys, they all lined up and dressed. And, and Bernard Kakkar worked on this film as an <laughs> right. assistant. That's yeah, right. Yeah. 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 And uh, also Hidelani. He's Hridaya. there, yeah, and he's very good writer. So, and uh, and Kulbushan's performance, I, I, it was one of the lesser recognized performances at that time, but his his performance is absolutely stunning. Yeah. Yesterday, while I was watching it, I was saying, hey, I, this is this is something I missed. Yeah. Kulbushan, the, the depth he's given and the dignity, he strange kind of perverse dignity that's, he's given this character. That's right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's yeah, really yeah something. That, that scene where he loses the election and says, just make me win and I'll give up. <laughs> I'll, I'll resign. I'll resign. <laughs> it was just because, but that's the thing, it doesn't, it gives you the reality of how these, you know, politics would play out, but it also leaves you with, with hope. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But not unrealistic hope. Yeah. You know? It, it, it is yeah. finally your character who, who says, okay, we can make this work. We'll do it ourselves. Right. Tell me, you did five films with Sham Benegal, right? Um, Nishant, Manthan, Bhumika, Nishant, Mandi, Manthan, Junoon. Nishant, Manthan, Bhumika, Trikal. So, uh, so six And Discovery films. of India, the, which, is right. not a, which is a 24-hour film. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, what do you think makes him sort of an exceptional director. What are the qualities that you saw in him that, you know, maybe other people didn't have? Well, his benevolence, I think. Yeah. His compassion for humanity. Oh, yeah. His sense of humor. The, the gentle way in which he handles his entire unit. At that time, of course, when I saw Ankur, I saw it in Kanpur, of all places, playing to a full house. And I, I was, I was sort of, you know, jumping with joy. And I said, "Hey, this is the kind of film I'm going to get a job in someday." <laughs> so that's all Shah meant to me at that time: the possibility of, of work. I, I didn't think that my association with him would last that long, and he would have that much faith in me. Mm, at a time when I needed it most, he persevered with me, uh, when no one else would, would touch me with a barge pole. But uh, I think it's really Shah's innate. Humanity, his his razor sharp intelligence, um, uh, as and as you yourself pointed out, many of the issues that Manthan deals with are still things we are grappling with. Yeah. The, the 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 concept of masculinity, the, the the patriarchy, the caste system, the oppression of the Dalits, the uh, self sufficient, the importance of self sufficiency, and and it doesn't paint a rosy picture. Also, as you said, it it ends on a note of hope. We've begun the struggle, we, you know, so uh, I think that's what it is. I don't think Sham sugarcoats any of his movies. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, 
It's his benevolence. It's 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 the way uh, he's very close to my office, and I spent many 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 afternoons. And uh, and I can tell you, I know there is no better human being in the film industry as he is. And this uh, manthan is a very special gift. On uh, you know, he's becoming 90 this year, yeah. and he was sh shooting a film till he was 89. Yeah. Amazing. I mean, can How you imagine? Incredible. At 89, yeah. you're Amazing. going on a set. <laughs> and I, I'll tell you an interesting story. COVID was hitting back and I went to the set. He called me for lunch. Mm. And I thought I'm going to lose weight. So I was, you know, taking... <laughs> and there is his thali, mutton and everything. And <laughs> in 89, he's having a full meal. Good so, for him. Yeah, absolutely. He, he was always a foodie. He, he, loved, a, he loves, loves his food. Loves his food. <laughs> so I think this film is a lot to him and to the wonderful work Smita did. Yeah. Smita Patel. She's just so beautiful in the film. And I mean, her close-ups and yeah, things. Absolutely. And, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you go back with that. Yeah, she's thing. not an icon for nothing. Her, the, the, her presence on the screen. Yeah. It's absolutely... Staggering. Yeah. Yeah. Stunning. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. There's, there's a close-up, which I worked on it first. And uh, that's, that's there in the, in the beginning of the film when, when they're all gathering for milk and they look up. And that close-up we, we did first and we showed it to Shyam Babu and we said, is this the tone? And and I worked very hard to get the color tones correct for that because that face itself, sir, was such a huge inspiration. Yeah, absolutely. And it just helped us through the film, you know. It's, it's just Smita Patel. Well, I can't tell you how proud we are that it's here. Thank and you. It's, and it's going to release. Yeah. And yes. so it's not just here, but people can go into theatres. Should yeah. we tell us about that before so, we end? So, Anu, one thing uh, which is very important for the foundation is that when you restore a, a, a film, uh, if you don't show it back to the public, yeah. there's no point of restoring it. Public excess and bringing it back to the public. So we're going to be releasing Manthan. It's going to be releasing on 1st and 2nd June in almost 45 to 50 cities, all through PVR and Inox and Cinepolis and everywhere where we can get this film out to people. And then there's a big plan uh, to show it back to the villages. We want to go back to the village of Sanganava where, where the film was shot and to the villages of Gujarat uh, and show this film and do public yeah. screenings. I wonder, uh, I wonder what Sanganava looks like now. Yeah. So <laughs> interestingly, sir, the, the boy who Smita is holding, huh. he called up Sham Babu and he said, I'm Smita, I was Smita's son. In this. <laughs> so it took him a while to understand which film. So he said Manthan and, and he heard about Manthan going to Khan's. Oh. And he called up, now he's living in, in, in a city in Gujarat and he called up and said, uh, I really want to see this film because, so th the release will, you know, Shyam Babu was saying that all the children in the film, hmm. now they're all grown up in exactly. that village they're, they're, they're and uh, they'll get a chance to watch this great film. Yeah. How lovely. How lovely. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank it's you, so Anu. lovely again to see you both here. Thank you. Thank you. Anu. Thank you. Thank you. You've been watching FC at Cannes 2024 in association with entertainment partner Airtel Extreme Fiber, beauty partner Lakme, podcast partner Amazon Music and travel partner Air France.